As explained, login and sign up is working, but there are some pieces missing. For example, the user is not able to log out and the user is able to, well, visit this URL here at any point of time because we're not protecting it. We're not requiring the user to be logged in to get here. Also, we're not automatically logging the user in upon sign up. So all these are the things I want to fix here. So I'll go back to the code and I want to start with providing a logout functionality. This will be done in the user controller. I'll add a new method here, public function, get logout. And logging out is really simple using the auth the state level provides. I just run auth logout. And with that logout method on this auth helper, that will automatically take care that everything is deleted it has saved about this user or about this user's state so that he's no longer logged in. Of course, the database entries will be kept so not everything will be deleted, basically the session and so on. So with that, the user is able to log out and I will set up a route for this. Little get route here, user log out. And I'll of course use my newly created action in the user controller at get logout. Name this user.logout. And now that I think of it, it would make more sense to also give all these routes the user prefix here. However, that is a lot of unnecessary typing I'm doing here because I would add slash user in front of all of these routes. Now, since all these routes share the same prefix, I may as well add a route group here with a prefix as the grouping logic. The prefix should be user. And then in the closure, in the anonymous function of this route group um, method here level provides, I'll add all these routes which should get this prefix and then I can get rid of the user here in the profile and the log out route and with that all these routes will be accessed with slash user slash sign up slash sign in and so on but I don't have to explicitly type it here all the time simply by grouping them together by this criteria here this prefix anyways back to the log out functionality but that was important too here, of course. I want to add the link to the logout in the header file here. So I'll do this here, route user.logout will give me this link. And with that, well, we should at least be able to see if all of that works and logging out should work too. So I'll go back to my page. Let me first check if this route still works. Yes. So the route grouping works. And if I click on, well, sign in, I'm still taken to the sign in page, which of course doesn't make sense since I'm still signed in, but I'll take care of this soon. So if I click log out, yes, this seems to work, but it would of course be nice if I also am redirected. So yeah, I'm currently not doing anything here. That certainly is wrong. So I'll provide a redirect here. And let's say I want to basically navigate back to where the user came from. So let's try this again. I'll go back to the index page. And yes, I'm not logged in currently, but it will work anyways. Yeah, I'm taken back. So this works, but you still see there are some missing things. However, for one, it would be great if this header here or this user management pop up or drop down would be updated accordingly so that I don't see the log out possible here when I'm not logged in and the route protection I was already talking of. So I'll take care of the route protection next. I'll do this in the routes PHP file and Laravel has this concept called middleware which allows me to basically funnel all requests for which I specify a middleware through that middleware which is basically a checked check run on the requests to see if they fulfill a certain criteria. Laravel ships with some built-in middleware and there are two middlewares I'm thinking of right now which are very handy for us. 
The auth middleware will make sure that only authenticated users may access a certain resource, whereas the guest middleware does the opposite. And we can, of course, use both middlewares to make sure that only authenticated users may access the profile page, whereas only unauthenticated users may access the sign up or sign in pages, for example. In your kernel PHP file, you can see those middlewares here. This is the basic middleware Laravel ships with. This is the off middleware I'm talking of. And basically with this off string here, we get a shortcut to easily access and apply this middleware. And guest is the other one I'm talking about. In the middleware folder, you see the files this, these links here are referring to. So off is referring to app HTTP middleware authenticate which is this file here. So here you can see the logic Laravel runs. And the guest middleware is referring to the redirect, redirect if authenticated middleware, this file here. So we can adjust these files to our needs and I will do this. But for now, what I will first do is I will add the middleware in the routes file. So I will tell Laravel which routes of my routes you see here should get a certain middleware. Now, how can middleware be applied? And I just saw that this sign up page here should also be passed into the route grouping, by the way. But how can I apply middleware? I can do it by simply adding a new parameter here, middleware, a new element in this array. And then I could pass an array of middlewares, so off and any other middleware. Or if I only have one, I may simply specify it as a single element or as, an, as a string here, off. Now, I certainly don't want to protect the sign up route with the off middleware because then the user would never be able to sign up since, well, he certainly isn't authenticated before trying to sign up. So instead here, I want to have the guest middleware. So middleware guest to make sure that only unauthenticated users are able to sign up. I'll copy that to my post route, to my sign in routes. And here for the profile, I'll also copy it, but I'll replace guest with off because only authenticated users should be able to get to the profile. And the same is true for logging out. Unauthenticated users can't log out, so they shouldn't be able to. Now you already see a similar thing as with the user prefix here. I'm using this guest middleware on four routes and off on two. Now this is perfectly fine, but I could also use grouping here again. So let's do that. I'll group all these routes, this time not by prefix, but by middleware and apply the off middleware for, or the, the, the guest middleware here for the first set of routes. So provide a closure which holds all these routes. And I will paste in all the routes which currently have the guest middleware, like this. And then of course I can get rid of this middleware element here in the route setup. And I can also create another group here, route group middleware and then off for the two other routes down here, which also share the same middleware. So I'll take these routes and insert them here and also get rid of the middleware here. So with that, I'm still applying the middleware, the guest middleware to these routes and the off middleware to these routes. Now, if we have a look in the middleware files Laravel ships with. The authenticate middleware is of course the one which checks if the user is logged in. And we see that Laravel tries to redirect us to, basically this is a route here, like the route command, to the login page. Well, this route doesn't exist here. So I want to redirect to the user to user.signin. This is an important adjustment here for having this to work correctly. And in the redirect if authenticated case, this is fine since we're redirected to 
an absolute URL or path here, which is our root page, which is okay for me. You could of course replace this with redirect and then route and then uh, product index, I think was the name of the very top route, yes. And this would basically do the same. So whatever you like more. So I'll go with that. And with this, if I head over and reload my application here, and I go to sign up, this works. So if I go to sign in, this also works. If I do sign in, I'm redirected to the profile. And if I try to access sign in again, you see I'm redirected back to the starting page because this is now protected that so that only unauthenticated, unauthenticated users may access it. Logging out of course works. And what happens if I'm, I'm now logged out, try to access my user profile page. I'm okay, I made a mistake here. Let's replace this with route. Guest um, takes an absolute path here, which of course doesn't work. So let's use route instead. So I'll try this again. You see, I'm taken to the sign in page. So all that works. What do I want to do last? I want to log in the user right after he signed up and I want to fix this dropdown. So I'll start with logging the user in after sign up by simply adding off sign up or off log in and then pass the user which I want to log in. So with this helper method, I can instantly log in a user. And of course, I know that this is possible here because the user has been created. So that is one thing. Let's try this. So I go to sign up and I'll create a new user here with another email address. And we can test if I'm signed up by going to user profile. This works. Of course, we could also redirect not to product index, but to user profile. So let's do this. And now to the header. Currently, I'm always showing the sign up and sign in and log out links. Now that certainly isn't the right thing to do because, well, I only want to show sign up and sign in if the user is not logged in. And if the user is logged in, then I want to show log out and I want to replace sign up and sign in with a link to the user account, to the user profile, let's say. So how can we do that? Very easily. Laravel offers us the possibility to use the authorsate in the blade templates as well. So I can check with off check, which is a helper method basically telling Laravel, hey, please have a look if the user currently on this page is logged in, which of course Laravel can validate because it stores it in a session. And if this is successful, well, then I will display the content between the if or in the inside of this if block. I'll also add an else statement here and then and if. So now what do I want to display in the case that the user is authenticated? Well, then I want to create a new list entry saying user profile, linking to that page here. If the user is not authenticated, if he's not logged in, then I want to show this block here and this logout link will also only be shown if the user is authenticated. So also in the, well, if case, in the, in the true case here. So with that in place, if I reload the page here and have a look at the dropdown, you now see I only see sign up and sign in because I'm not signed in. If I do sign in though, you see now I got access to user profile and logout. So that's working great. And with that, we got a working user interface or user sign up and sign in process in place. And yeah, I'm happy to see you in the next videos. Bye.